Hi, the everyone. My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome to hashtag Ask Fruit episode five. We are making strides, my friends. Hopefully, you guys continue to enjoy this series. I love making these videos. It takes a lot of time to uh, pour all the right love into it, but I think the final product is good. I especially think this episode is going to be a good one. So, without further ado, let's head in to your questions. Now, remember, if you want to get into the next video, comment down below with a question, comment, whatever, really, and just put hashtag ask fruit in the comment garden leopard says what was the name of your first crush ps love your channel thank you very much garden leopard i'm glad you like the channel but my first crush that i can remember was way back in second grade i might have liked someone before but i just remember this one specifically because her name was Catherine long now the reason that was important and the only reason i remember it was because stacy's mom was one of my favorite songs and so what i did was don't do this, this is not how you get the ladies. But I put her name into the song and sung it. So it was, Catherine Long has got it going on. Catherine Long. Yeah, no, that's not, that's creepy. No wonder she didn't, we didn't have our little uh, second grade affair. I don't, I don't know what it would be like, but I thought it was clever. Ryan Green wants to know where I developed my favorite catchphrase that you all know, Heidi Ho everyone. So the Heidi Ho actually comes from Home Improvement. I believe that's what's the show, it's been a while, I don't know. The one with Tim Allen, all about the, he has his neighbor, that over the little picket fence, you never really see anything but his head, he goes, Heidi Ho neighbor. And so I picked Heidi Ho up from there. And then, uh, well, I use that every day. I use that to greet people. Up until, well, I started this channel, and then I was like, well, what other way to introduce myself than with Heidi Ho? It just makes sense. It's what I'm used to, and I like it, and it's unique. You don't hear it said very often, and funny enough, it was almost like a social experiment. So what turned out happening was, if you go up to somebody, and instead of going like, hey, or hello, or how are you, if you say Heidi Ho, they're going to think you said how are you, because uh, nine times out of ten, I'd go, Heidi Ho, and they'd be like, good, how about you? And I'd be like, that's what? That's not what I... Uh, good. <laughs> they just... Their brain automatically processes that no one says Heidi Ho, so it must have been how are you, and you just... I just went along with it. I'm like, alright, screw this. I'm not gonna be like, no, I didn't... You, you know what? Yeah, I'm good too. I'm good too. Riley Korn asks, what kind of car do I have? What kind of car do I have? Wanna know what kind of car I drive? Well, let me tell you, it's only the dopest of dope. Only what the most baller of people can drive. It takes balls to drive something like this. You might think I'd just drive something generic and lame. No, I make a statement when I drive. I drive this bad boy, Gustavo. That's right, it's a he. Because there ain't nothing girly about this. It ain't a minivan, it's a man van. And that's just the way I like it. Oh, and did I mention? Automatic doors. So you might be asking yourself, well, Mr. Fruit, why a man van? Well, I'll answer your question with another question. Why not a man van? Everybody laughs at me. It's like, <laughs> a minivan? Yeah, and then they need help moving because would you look at that trunk space? Look at it. There's so much room for activities. Dinner reservations for five plus? No problem. Shaboom. Shaboom. Don't you just hate it when the sun gets in your eyes or it's too hot? Boom! Patented sun blocking technology! What's better than a... DVD player. Doesn't work, <laughs> but I got one. You want to know what else is dope? Literally, this drug smuggling compartment. Ah, uh, check this out. Boom! Haven't looked in here in ages, but there's get. Look at that. Drugs. Yeah. Want to know what the best part is? I can fit six ladies. Pop in the extra chair. Seven, if they want to get to know each other. Check out the chromes on this bad boy. Yep. Pure default. 
factory tires. Pretty sick. Yeah, this bad boy gets about uh, 22 miles to the gallon, 0 to 16, I don't know, and runs off pure gasoline. And to top it all off, I mean, you got all this space for storage. You can do anything. You got four cup holders, this or that, or you don't want it, boom! Well, s***. Sky Hijinx asks, what size is your left shoe? I might have told you if you hadn't discriminated against my right foot, because now my right foot's feeling left out. So I don't really appreciate I don't know what you're trying to get at here, or why specifically you need my left shoe size, but now you're not gonna get any, because you are a hate-filled shoe criminal, okay? Hashtag make all shoes feet great equal again. Hashtag that, with, uh, word for word. It's okay, right foot. I still love you the same. Blueberry Salt says, How do you react to hate, mean, disrespectful comments? God, those are just the worst, you know? They're just flying through space. And you're like, dude, could you not? Could you not, like, you know, hit our planet? Probably what the dinosaurs were thinking. That was a real disrespectful comment. They're just enjoying their time out, munching on some grass and stuff. And they're like, yo, what's up, Comet? Hey, man, listen, we're not looking for... <laughs> And look where they are now. So as to how I would react to hate, mean, or disrespectful comments, with very, very strong words. I'd be like, no. Bad comment. Go back to space where you belong, you space debris. You're just a piece of junk. A piece nobody wanted. You're just flying all by yourself. Hmm. Yeah, where's the rest of your body? That you probably might have broken from. Or maybe you're just a big old rock. You know, you do you, boo. Oliver Pelham Burn, can you try and zoom your camera so we can see how you see without glasses? P.S. Keep going strong, love the channel. Thanks for the kind words, but I... Th I don't think zooming my camera is what... <laughs> I don't... That's not how I see without glasses. Do you think I have hawk vision when I... When I don't do... Kaka! Just... Boo! And just see... No, that's not how it works. I think you meant blur it. So, I'm going to... Gently apply a, a, a blur to the video and and maybe this will simulate sort of what it looks like when I don't have my glasses on And I'm sure a lot of people can empathize with this who have vision problems. I don't know It's hard to exactly show you how bad it is without you know having my eyesight So Alexander Brooke wants to know who makes your thumbnails easy me James McElveen if you have Swiss cheese you realize it has holes in it So the more Swiss cheese you have the more holes you have so the more Swiss cheese you have, the less Swiss cheese you have? Oh. Well, I mean, technically speaking, you're not wrong, but you're not right. Because at the end of the day, sure, you have more Swiss cheese, but you will have less of the Swiss cheese than possible. Although, Swiss cheese by default comes with holes, so it wouldn't be Swiss cheese without the holes. So technically, Yes, more of a mozzarella kind of guy myself, but you know, each their own. Spicy Tuna wants to know, what starter are you going to choose in Pokemon Sun and Moon? If you didn't see it, they released a trailer showing a little bit of gameplay, and the three new starters, as well as sneak peeks at the two new legendaries, super hyped. Now, personally, uh, is it a question? Just look at this fella. So, yeah, without having to say much, Rowlet all day, he's a freaking cute little owl. Two, I've always supported the grass starters in every game, even when people never choose them. They're like, oh, no, the fire and water are always cooler. And they might be, but I'm a, I'm a grass hipster. And so, now everyone's going to be jumping on my bandwagon. I'll be like, get out of here. I've been here since Gen 1, baby. Bulbasaur for days. And uh, moreover, though, he has a bow tie out of leaves. A bow tie leaf. That's amazing. Like what? Oh, but Mr. Fruit, what about Litten? It's actually lit. Yeah, that's- it's already old, dude. Come on. Like, you're so the day it got released. And as far as that water seal dog thing, I don't- Yeah, I'm not- uh... Jack Green asks, what is your biggest pet peeve? I don't know if it's a pet peeve per se because I can't help it, but there's this thing called misophonia where pretty much a certain sound or something like that can trigger an emotion or something in somebody that they can't really help. And usually it almost it almost starts like this fight or flight thing for you. I have that with mouth sounds a lot of the time and I, I can't control it. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but like even to like listening to someone chew, I it's to the point where I literally, I'm like, like, I get probably the angriest I ever get. I can't help it. Like, I just get angry. And I'm like, <sighs> and I, I can't help it. So that's probably my biggest pet peeve. Weird mouth noises. Now, 
That's not to say, like I said, sometimes it's a hit or miss, but especially when it's quiet and like that's all I hear, like maybe I'm eating with someone and we're not saying anything and all I can hear is some chewing. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> I have to like, I have to like clench my fist. I'm like, <sighs> Aiden Morse, what did you look like when you were little? Well, I was quite the stunner. Yeah, I got all the baby ladies, and that sounds weird. Anyways, I was super cute, little chubby, uh, but I suppose I can show you um, a picture of myself when I was a kid. Hopefully it doesn't break the internet because it's pretty crazy. So are you ready? Are you sitting down? Brace yourself for what is baby Mr. Fruit. Shaboom. Yeah, I know I had to toot my own horn, but I was a pretty cute baby. Mason Young asked, do you still think you will hit 1 million at this rate? Been here since 1000 and I still love you. Well, thank you for sticking around so long, Mason. Glad you still enjoy the stuff. And as for 1 million, if you're not sure, I did a New Year's video and I had a resolution that the year before I had said that I would get to 250,000 subscribers, we passed that. So I made a more ambitious goal and said by the end of this year, we're gonna hit 1 million. I don't think that's going to happen personally. I mean, at this rate, like just looking, you know, statistically, if it stays at this, we're not going to make it, but I'm not upset by that or anything. I mean, we're still growing. I'm still enjoying doing this. And that wasn't so much like a, it, it, this needs to happen. It was just sort of like, well, this would be cool and something to shoot for. Um, again, I said it was wildly ambitious and it was. So as to if we will hit it, who knows if something goes viral, perhaps maybe, you know, we'll have a chance or if something picks up, but at the current rate, no, we won't. And that is perfectly okay with me because I still love all of you. One person, 500,000, 1 million, doesn't matter. As long as I'm making videos that you guys enjoy, then I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Cicade wants to know how tall am I? My fiance thinks that you are 5'11". Well, your fiance is wrong. Now, hold on, I'll try and, I'll try and do my best to sit up straight and here, I'll try and like, okay, I'll show you here. We'll, we'll see how tall I am. Let me just, yeah. I think that's about right. I'm actually 5'9". Um, come at me. Jonathan Haddad, what is your favorite game in the Super Smash Brothers series? Also, thank you for all you do and stay awesome. I haven't played the new one at all yet, actually, ironically enough. As for my favorite, nostalgic-wise, I would have to just go with the default Super Smash Brothers on the N64. Was the first game I bought. I bought it with the N64 way back when, uh, with my birthday money, from my grandparents, thanks grandparents. But no, that's probably up there, but then if it wasn't just nostalgic, I'd go Melee, because I probably had the most time in that. That one seemed to be more fleshed out, and I enjoyed that a lot more, um, probably because I would just go over to my friends like every day, and uh, just <laughs> play forever, and there's so many memories, like, and randomly encountering Mewtwo as Jigglypuff. Like, we weren't sure, we were just fooling around, and I was messing this Jigglypuff. I never played Jigglypuff. And once I beat him, the, the screen appeared. It's like, new challenger approaches. And it was Mewtwo. And he and I were like, -wa -wa -wa! and I was Jigglypuff. And I was like, dude, I can't beat him. And oh my gosh, I beat Mewtwo with a fan senseless. Just whoopsh, whoopsh, whoopsh. I beat him. We unlocked Mewtwo. What a glorious day it was. What a glorious day indeed. Pixel the Cat says, I'm hungry. Well, I'm no doctor, but I suppose I can try and get a, uh, a prognosis for you. Don't even know what that means. Hold on. A forecast of the likely course of a disease or ailment. Well, you you are hungry, so that's an ailment. So if you don't eat and you remain hungry, you will die. That is your prognosis. However, I have heard there is a cure for such an ailment. Now hear me out here. It's a little risque, you know, some researchers are still working on it. It's still a little in development. So if you're up for it, I've heard you can go eat. Now again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not. So, you know, take my word with a huge grain of salt or fruit, go eat some fruit. Boom, there you go, or any food. Maybe some starches, you know, fill you up real quick, some carbs. So, get unhungry or die. Lastly, Kevin Jones wants to know, Mr. Fruit, what are some of the weirdest things you have gotten at your P.O. Box? I've gotten a few weird things, not as much as I expected, I'll be fair. A lot of them have just been some nice letters or gifts and stuff, but, I would have to say the weirdest, the, the, weir the weirdest eclectic mix of gifts I got probably was from one person. And let me round those up real quick and show you the, the, the weird assortment I received. But we'll start first off with that, uh, well you see this styrofoam fruit in this bowl? I know it's not real, sue me. Uh, that was actually from him, super cool. 
and I liked it so much, I was like, I'm gonna put this in the videos because that's super awesome. I now have a bowl of fruit. I, it's right there, that's our mascot. So it all came in a few packages, and um, I also received a coloring swear word book, if you can see that, along with, I mean, how else am I gonna color it without colored pencils? He also sent me a PS4 controller, that was very nice. And then, <laughs> You can see it's uh, a life-size cardboard pop-out of uh, Austin Powers. I haven't found a home for it yet, but uh, rest assured, he's gonna find somewhere. I, I don't, I, I don't have room yet, but and I mean, come on, that's not enough. So how about a massive? Can you even? Can you? A massive freak! I can't even like show you how big this is. Super big throws. Some sort of really soft Hello Kitty blanket. I mean, it's massive and so warm. And, uh, yeah, I use it some. You know what? Because it's comfortable. Also, my girlfriend uses it all the time. So that's probably, ironically enough, the most used gift, besides the fruit. So, the, to him, I think it was Jacob. Thank you very much, Jacob. What a generous and interesting assortment of gifts. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up the fifth edition of Hashtag Ask Fruit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, if you have some comments or whatever, it doesn't have to always be questions, just whatever, put them on down there in the comments with the Hashtag Ask Fruit, and you could potentially make it into the next installment. So thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell. Thank you.